So a few videos back, I talked about a big deal that was going on. A lot of content creators have been recently affected on YouTube due to copyright strikes, claims, all sorts of stuff have been going on. In particular, a publishing company known as Shogakugan had taken action and they were pretty much getting people's addresses, their names, all sorts of stuff, bank information. And now I think I might have a understanding or a bit better of an understanding of exactly what is one of the motives behind this at the very least it's you could argue it's just speculation but we got the numbers we got the official numbers of the magazine circulation for the top magazines that you know deliver manga and all of that stuff and seeing what shogakugan's numbers are ooh. It ain't, it ain't looking too pretty. And we're gonna read them. I got it all. I got Shonen Sunday. I got Weekly Shonen Jump. We, we got them all. But, yeah. It, it, it's starting to make sense. And the, the puzzle is becoming a lot more clear. Let's jump into it. Whether Facebook, Twitter, or the two, make sure to stay clear because I'm coming through like... So as I said, the numbers are in. This is the circulation I believe we have from October to December and then January to March. So it gives you a comparison of the drop-off in magazine sales in those circulations or, you know, if some of them went up or whatnot. And wow, I'm just looking at these numbers like, it, and I'm not happy about it but i do think it's like okay it's not necessarily even karma because if this is what is one of the triggers as to why shogakugan is taking action it's quite sad that this is their reaction essentially to seeing the industry shrinking when again plenty of these content creators on here especially imagine the japanese content creators that would love to talk about a lot of these series and stuff like that they would be thrilled to be acknowledged. You know, I, I'm, I've been a creator on here for nine years. And I remember the first time when I really was starting to get acknowledged. When, you know, uh, Justin Rojas from Funimation reached out. And, you know, we had conversation. And a lot of that, it was like, it felt in a way rewarding. So, a lot of these people would actually really appreciate being able to rock with you guys. And help promote the series. So, the fact that they've been taking negative action against people has been, again very disappointing again the people that are uploading the full content get them out of here get them out because they're serving no purpose and they're doing things wrong but you know let's jump to the article and we'll talk a little bit more because yeah it, it's that real okay jmpa reveals manga magazine circulation numbers for january to march of 2019 the japan magazine publishers association revealed on tuesday the circulation numbers for january through march of most major manga magazines several other magazines kept the same circulation or close to the same circulation for example the charts below also feature circulation numbers for the same magazines for october through december of 2018 again so that we could get the comparison so let's start Start off at the top, we got Monthly Shonen Magazine, that's by Kodansha. Again, like I said, there's three major publishers there, Shueisha, Kodansha, Shogakugan. And again, there's others, but those are the majors. So from Kodansha, between October through December, they did 324,000. So they saw about a 25,000 drop from October to December between that and January and March. So again, you could argue that it's the holiday season, so you're going to see a drop from those numbers regardless but okay so about 25,000 drop a weekly shonen magazine 744,000 through October and December it dropped what about 30,000 more or less yeah about 29,000 so it dropped there uh the one that was said to have increased monthly shonen series which makes me curious what is actually in there again another kodansha why did the numbers go up is it just uh artificial inflation or what what's going on there numbers actually went up from 9700 to 14800 so we got about what 5000 increase there then ultra jump this is shueisha i would love to read some of the stuff in there i believe it's kingdom in there i'm not sure but they they dropped about 3000 the big enchilada, Weekly Shonen Jump, the one that we talk majority of the stuff on this channel and have historically on this channel talked about. It went from 1,706,923,000 to 1,692,000. So it saw about, what, 14,000 decrease, something along the lines of that. Not, not that major, especially when you're pulling in 1.7, 1.6, so not too much of a big deal. So those two were Shueisha. Now we're jumping into Shogakugan. Shogakugan's monthly Koro Koro Comics 
went from 663,000 to 623,000. So they saw about a 40,000 drop. Monthly Sunday GX saw about 800 drop. It's not even a big magazine anywhere. But here's the one where I think this is the one that affected them. This is the one that probably pissed them off because Weekly Shonen Sunday, to my knowledge, that has Detective Conan, one of the biggest anime out there in Japan, but also it's one of the big deals. That's, again, out of the three major magazines that I know, I feel as though it's Weekly Shonen Jump, Weekly Magazine, or Weekly Shonen Magazine, and then Weekly Shonen Sunday. Shonen Sunday, I believe, also had Magi. This magazine, at only 296,000, saw a 22,000 decrease. Now, mind you, again, Weekly Shonen Jump saw about that type of decrease, even less than that, but at 1.7 million. This at 290,000 has seen a 20,000 decrease, and maybe that's making them panic. Uh, on top of the fact that I thought the numbers were higher. I, I think in my last video, I was quoted saying they're doing like 600,000 each, you know, three month quarter, but no, they actually are less than 300,000 and plummeting. And that's probably one of the big reasons. Again, there's a bunch of other stuff on here. I'll have the full list. You can check it out in the description below. But man, seeing that drop right there, seeing what the numbers were already, when that's one of their lead flagship magazines as Detective Conan, which is, again, one of the biggest series out there, it says a lot why they are doing what they're doing. It's not excusing it because there's no reason to attack creators that are helping to promote your stuff. Those people know you, you shouldn't attack them. But it, it's bad seeing that Weekly Shonen Sunday is seeing less than 300,000 copies in three months. So they're doing about less than 100,000 copies a month of, of their magazine. And again, dwindling. Uh, within the next five to ten years what are those numbers going to look like as print continues to kind of become extinct and digital becomes the future and on top of that shogaku gone especially in the west i'm not sure in japan what they got going on but i know in the west they don't really have a foothold over here and a lot of uh, these magazines they do depend on the west to uphold things when, when a series bombs in japan or if, let's just say one piece something goes wrong with one piece Shueisha still got Dragon Ball. They still got Naruto. They still have big players. Weekly Shonen Sunday with their big magazine down at, at that low totem pole. I can see why they would be doing it. I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong. And uh, yeah, uh, kind of curious what you guys think about all this. What do you think about the numbers? Again, this is in three months they are doing these numbers. Weekly Shonen Jump still holding in the millions, thankfully. I'm, I'm glad at least to still see that print because I'm, I'm still a fan of print. I, I'm always going to appreciate print, but I can tell that the future really is digital and these numbers are a huge reflection because in their heyday, these magazines did multiple million, all of them. And to see what the numbers are now, it's it's bad and your overall thoughts and uh expectations for the future hopefully shogaku gone stops whatever they're doing hopefully uh any bad situations that have occurred due to this get reversed because it's not right for people to suffer for simply uh reviewing criticizing critiquing in a proper manner as long as you're not breaking their rules and their guidelines you know the whole fair use shit we, you should be fine. But that's all I have for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Please hit the bell to get all notifications. Nowadays, it's pretty difficult to get your videos to your subscribers. So if you hit the bell and get all notifications, I'd honestly appreciate it. And that way, you could also get all the videos when they come out. And uh, if you want to follow any of my other social media, links in the description below. I'm Fanever World. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember... Remember the golden rule, anime and manga for life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day. Can't forget the music though. Hold on, let me play y'all a little son. Paper rules, if you heard it, best believe that. For now, it's whatever. One day, I'll be your favorite for never. No matter how you go, get it done. No matter.